Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to make the tiniest and smallest and fastest probe that I think is possible in version 0.181 of Kerbal Space Program. Now, we're going to be building another RCS-based probe, and so I need a, a RCS port on. I'm going to use just the one. Now, we, because we're using one, we need to line it up exactly on the bottom. And the way we do that is we put two on using symmetry and then when they merge completely we turn off symmetry using the keyboard. That's shift and X. X increases symmetry and shift and X decreases it. So by doing that I can visually judge when we have them exactly in the bottom. Now the other thing I'm going to do is put on a fuel tank. Now an XPDX TV, he, he uh, liked to think he had the best one that could be built. He put his fuel tank on the top. I am however putting mine on the bottom. Now, I know a lot of you will be saying, won't that get in the way of the RCS port? Well, it might if the game cared about that, but it doesn't. What it does do, however, is move the center of mass right back towards the, the rear of the probe. In fact, it moves it very, very close to where the RCS port is, as you can see. Now, it just so happens that when the RCS code was implemented, that uh, RCS thrusters that are nearer the center of the mass actually get more thrust and this is to allow the rotation of the aircraft or the vehicle to uh, behave a little more uh, easily I guess it's the idea being that things closer to the center will drive the mass or whatever it it I think it's actually unnecessary but the side effect of this is is if you can put a thruster very near to the center of mass you will get a lot of thrust out of it now obviously since this is a space probe we need to give it a power supply so we stick a single solar panel on the front of the vehicle and that should do us. That makes four parts, that is less than the five that XPDX TV used. And we're ready to go! And now we're on the launch pad. We uh, need to get launched quickly because this is sitting on a sphere and we'll start to roll over. And look at this go! It's practically 10G off the launch pad. 500 meters per second after, well, practically no time at all. Uh, this is utterly ridiculous and uncontrollable. The whole thing wants to flip around in the dense upper atmosphere. It is exceeding uh, 10 kilometers, almost tw 2 kilometers per second at less than 20 kilometers. It is moving ridiculously fast. We're up to escape velocity and we're still inside the atmosphere. Look at this thing. Now, one might ask, what do we do with something that accelerates at a ridiculous speed like this? Well, my idea was, let's go to another planet and let's see how fast we can do it. So, this was a, the first, uh, this was a fresh save file, so Eve is nearby. So I pretty much spent my effort to uh, try and target this thing. I set the, the orbit to intersect this and uh, it's just, it's a hard well, it's a hard amount of work because you basically need to keep thrusting and once you get an intersect, you need to keep adjusting it so that you hit the planet. And it took a really long time. As you can see, I'm just picking up speed 26 kilometers per second now. Um, a little more adjusting and you can see that now uh, I'm, I'm bringing my rendezvous or well, the intersect down. We have an encounter with a sphere of influence. Now, but we want to bring it right onto the planet. This is essentially trying to make this encounter from a long way away. But we do it, and uh, this is what it looks like when we're traveling at 1,000 uh, times normal speed. The encounter, or uh, time to encounter, was just over six hours, and I only used 30% of my fuel because, well, frankly, I couldn't be bothered holding H for the amount of time, but... Uh, you can see that we got up to 200 kilometers per second. This would probably do almost 600 kilometers per second easily. Uh, I'm not going to do that. It wouldn't reach light speed before you ask. Although there might be ways around this. But yeah, uh, I can just enter uh, Eve's SOI at practically normal speed. There we go, look. And once we enter the sphere of influence, it's only a few minutes to fly over the planet. And this is what it looks like in slow-mo. We fly down and bang, there goes the tank. And then go followed by the RCS a moment later. The deceleration from 200 kilometers per second to 3 kilometers per second takes less than 4 seconds. That is 
five or fifty thousand meters per second per second, or approximately five thousand G's that this probe survives, and the the uh, solar panel survives fine as well. I don't know. I, I wish they could have made the engine and the tank from that. But uh, yeah, from there, it's pretty much going to fall to the planet's surface and die. At least the solar panel will keep it working. Actually, I think the solar panel makes the entire mission work because without it, the center of mass starts out below the RCS thruster. And as you burn fuel, it moves upwards. And if the center of mass and the RCS thruster are at the same position, you get essentially infinite acceleration. You get a divide by zero error and your game crashes. So yeah, this is a bug in 0.181, and I can see why it's in there, and I can see that it is gonna get fixed in 0.182, so this is your last chance to do these really silly things, but I felt that the bug was that good that I had to share it with everyone. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.